Business Technologies. Today, in this particular video, we are going to talk about Narcissistic Personality Disorder. Again, a type of personality disorder which is highly prevalent, rarely diagnosed, at the same time, the impact of it is felt by every people around the person who is possessing this disorder. Narcissistic disorder in a brief term can be termed as uh, the belief, the strong belief of supreme self that the self or the individual is supreme, is above everyone. He is not bound by rules on regulations or he needs he there is no need for him to follow any rules of rules or regulation especially when it comes to the interpersonal relationships trying to project himself as the person who is the most knowledgeable the most uh, experienced the person with who has solutions for every problem the person who can handle any situation and uh, just trying to project it every time they come into a situation or they come into a, in a place where they need to meet people. In a putting in a very simple terms, in a very colloquial words, the person with narcissistic personality disorder feels that if he goes to a marriage, he should be the bridegroom and if he is going to a place where death has happened, he should be the dead body where the ultimate attention of everyone is on the person. So this is how we can briefly or this is the outline what we can give about narcissistic personality. So briefly put uh, the nature of narcissistic people with a narcissistic personality disorder the simplest thing is that they have a grandiose view of self they feel they are the best they are the top they can do everything in an excellent manner they feel that they have got the best solutions and they try to in any relationship they try to take a dominant role trying to push their ideas enforce their ideas trying to make the others feel that uh, uh, they the people who are relating to them feel that they don't have much knowledge compared to what they have in whatever field whether it's related to them or not related to them and every time they are they talk about themselves they try to uh, they try to repeatedly talk about the successes they have got they read about where situations where they have found some extraordinary solutions which may sometimes be which may sometimes be a repetition of what they have been telling time and again and they are also preoccupied with fantasies of success. They believe that wherever they go, in whichever situation they are, or where in um, any type of any crisis, they are they have all been, always been successful. They have never encountered failures. And even if they identify any failures, they try to just put the blame on somebody else and try to safeguard their own self by making or may, by trying to believe within themselves that they have been successful but the success has been under by somebody else or some other some other reason some other situations naturally they are very self-centered they demand contest constant attention and adulation they want people to focus on them everywhere they go in any group they try to get the attention of people they try to make the people uh, focus on them and uh, to make it they well, ultimately they try different methods they try to poke into any discussions um, just express that uh, express their ideas their uh, uh, express the suggestions without even trying to find out whether they are invited into the group or they are uh, they are their suggestions are being accepted in the group and they try to emphasize in such a way that they know everything because of which people automatically try to the attention of the people automatically turn towards them. Naturally, they, they lack empathy. They are because they are more bothered about self. They are never they never give any importance to the feelings or um, the thought process of others. 
they never they always are focused on they are always focused on propagating themselves they never try to understand people from understand people from the viewpoint of those people of the others and they never try to understand what difficulty or problem the other people may be undergoing they just go on trying to emphasize what they feel is right what they what they feel is good what they feel is the right solutions and never even trying to look into whether the solution is workable for the person concerned or not and they always have a feeling of arrogance as i told i mean as in the previous discussion told they feel that since they are the top they know everything they try to behave or express the tendency of being arrogant dominant and they feel that they are entitled to every support they are entitled to every recognition they are entitled to every rewards that that is possible in a particular situation and if they find somebody else is getting any type of recognition then automatically there's intense feel of envy now and then they are highly sensitive to criticism so since they believe that they are the best and they never um, feel that anybody else can give a can have a better knowledge they believe that nobody has the rights or the appropriate um, knowledge or experience to to criticize them or find any fault with whatever they have expressed or whatever ideas they have come out with or whatever solution they have come out with okay so naturally and when they are not admired when they are not given the attention they get enraged and they try to sometimes in the entertainment they also try to behave in a very erratic manner and in any interpersonal any close interpersonal relationship especially in intimate relationship in marital relationship or even in good friendships they always try to seek for a higher status in the partner they feel that they need to be given a dominant role the other partner is supposed to be submissive they uh, their idea should be always prioritized over others their um, approach the situations should be given more value than what is done by others so now in every interpersonal relationship even in very close interpersonal relationship they try to be in a higher status in a dominant role among the partners or among the members in the group people with narcissistic personality disorder generally believe that they are better than others in every situation whether it's relevant or not in any place which is which sometimes they don't give a don't have any knowledge about or any experience about or they have never even um, had an opportunity to be in situation even in such situations they believe that they are better than others even better than the best person in that particular situation they don't simply have the high self esteem but they actively believe that they are more important than other people and should be treated that way they always feel that the best treatment or the highest respect in the group within in in that particular space should be given to them and to do that they try to attract the attention of others by trying to be verbally dominant or by through some activities where uh, they try to project they are different from others they are better than others they try to involve in um, they try to deliberately put down others sometimes um with the intention to show that they are better than others and also many time as we had discussed earlier they react very badly to criticisms and even the even or the events they actually dislike if they don't like any event they just try to um they just try to put it on the face criticize the people in a very intense manner to the extent that the other people feel very bad about themselves and uh, they themselves are very sensitive to criticism they somebody criticizes them the way they react will be sometimes very arrogant aggressive and in a way to actually demean the person to disrespect the person make the other person feel very bad about them. i mean whatever comments they have passed are very bad about themselves the same thing also extends to events which they dislike and if you see most of the events which they really dislike are the ones where they feel that 
they are not been given appropriate space or respect or identity people with narcissistic personality disorder have significant problems with the sense of self worth they feel they are the they are highly valuable they have a um, exaggerated feeling of worthiness about themselves which actually stems from a power of a powerful sense of entitlement that they are entitled to whatever best benefit that can be uh, that can be received or that they can get from any situation that anybody can get from any situation uh, whether it's uh, identity whether it's respect whether it is uh, uh, the focus people have on them so everywhere rewards also everywhere they feel that they are entitled for what is the best available in the situation and this actually mutually contributes to each other because a sense of sense, uh, sense of entitlement makes them feel that they are worthy they are highly worthy than what they really are and the sense and vice versa sense of self worthiness make them feel that they are entitled to whatever is best they can receive from the situation they this actually makes them believe that they need special treatment wherever they go people should be giving some spe special focus completely i mean higher than more than whatever the other people are getting in that particular group in that particular situation and they also assume that they have got special powers they try to establish the fact that they have got special powers or they are uniquely talented or they are very brilliant or attractive by various information they try to share in the situ share in, in any social situations um they talk about um, very big things which people may not have any idea about or when there's any specific discussion on any issue they come they try to um, just barge in and then give their ideas and uh, share uh, even the brief simple information they have in a very exaggerated manner by all these actions they try to prove that they are extraordinary they are more worthy than any people around them in the particular situation and also they try to prove that they are entitled for all the respect that can be got from that particular situation okay this uh, sense of entitlement can actually make them give make them dis disrespect or devalue the people around them they never feel that anybody around them has the real knowledge or they never believe that anybody else can give better solutions they never believe that or even not even better solution they they believe that nobody else around them can even give any proper solutions for any problems uh, they feel that the knowledge is uh, um, extensive and extraordinary which is not available to um, anyone around them and so they never they just disregard the people around them they never value the people around them and naturally they never respect the people around them also people with narcissistic personality disorder are likely to take advantage of the other people by manipulating them manipulating them how they are doing it they just try to make the other person believe that they are trustworthy they make them believe that the other person can depend on them for any solutions to any problems for any guidance whenever they need for any situations which the other person does not have a solution for they feel that they are a one point contact for everything every needs of the other person which the other person feel cannot be handled by them and by creating this particular image in the other person they try to take advantage of them make them do things the way the the way these people want them to do it rather than giving the freedom of the person to make his choices in fact they try to put significant pressure in making the other person do what they want and they are also very overly emotional in the responses they don't receive attention Uh, which they feel they really deserve and it is very explicit in the sense sometimes they may just uh, behave in a very arrogant manner they may just uh, uh, leave the place leave the situation uh, in such a way that it clearly exhibits the frustration it clearly makes the other people feel that this person has been emotionally hurt 
So that's how they actually uh, react whenever they feel that they did not uh, receive the attention. They also overreact in situation. They try to um, exaggerate themselves. They, they, are, they try to put everything in a very emotionally and in a dominant way with a high tone, with high pressure of voice. And in whatever possible way, the attention can be directed toward them. They do all the things that can be done in that particular situation to keep the people focused on them. People with the narcissistic personality disorder tend to get lost in their daydreams because even in their daydreams, even in their virtual world, they fantasize about only about the superior intelligence or stunning beauty or some extraordinary characteristics they believe that they have. So uh, it is usually guided by the fact that the in the fantasies also they only think about unlimited success and power and because of which they can usually end up lost getting lost in their daydreams and their fantasies. These people are so caught up with their fantasies that to the extent that they don't put real efforts in handling the day-to-day -day situations or they don't direct their energy towards accomplishing their goals even though they may not have specific goals and most of the goals are usually directed again uh, directed towards establishing their superiority in any situation um, even the minimal goals they have in their life even the simple goals they have in their life normally their um, energy is not directed towards accomplishing these goals. People with the narcissistic personality disorder tend to often develop relationships which are very superficial, devoid of any real intimacy or care. They don't, uh, they are not in relationship or they don't build relationship where there is a, a real sense of uh, attachment, uh, real sense for mutual understanding, real sense for mutual responsibility, mutual care, anything. Primarily because they, they, there is a need for them to be powerful and admired and they do not have the empathy for others. And this usually leads to a situation that in wherever, whichever relationship they develop, it is, there is a lot of conflicts because of the lack of understanding and um, where people don't feel that they have got the space in the relationship, which leads to a lot of conflicts in the relationship. And these conflicts are happening primarily because the other person in the relationship, they usually feel exploited after a period of time and they don't feel comfort in the relationship because of the way these personality, these narcissistic personality disorder people treat them. The way they don't show any regard for them, they don't show any respect for them, the way they, the way they try to put pressure on them to make things happen in the way the personality disorder people want them to happen. All these things always leads to conflict in relationships. And, and these narcissistic personality disorder people often feel devastated when they realize that they also have just the normal uh, normal powers <clears throat> just like any other human being they have got all the limitations of an average human being that they are not special in any way as they think or believe and also the others the admiration shown by others is not real or is it's not a genuine as they have believed it to be and it is also not in the level of intensity with which they expect it to be. When these realizations happen, there is an intense feeling of anger and shame within them and whenever they undergo this situation or undergo the, uh, this type of uh, emotions, it is not that they try to control it or they try to suppress it or balance it within themselves. Instead, they try to take it out on other people. They try to show their frustration, anger, um, by more by insulting other people, more, more by uh, treating people in a, in a 
very negative manner rather than by trying to manage the emotions or handle the emotions in a positive way or trying to control it without expressing it. High status in the society is very important for these people because they, I mean, they want always, they always want to be important. They want to be the center of attraction, and all those characteristics are there. So, when, whenever they find that they are not getting the status, or they are not getting this identity and admiration, they try to actually get that status or admiration by trying to associate themselves with people who are famous, people who are special, and people who are getting the sense of importance in the society. Sometimes in reality they try to uh, access these people and develop a relationship with them or sometimes even if they don't have any real contact or relationship, they boast of having such a relationship whenever they are in the group or whenever they are in a social situation. They try to project as if uh, the famous person, who, the person who is being admired is very close to them and uh, they have got easy access to them and uh, these people can take any favor or demand any favor from people who are famous and um, special okay and uh, these individuals also can quickly shift from over idealizing others to devalue them for in some situations or in the initial phase of the relationship with uh, the famous or popular people they over idealize them they try to project them as they are the top they are the best uh, and uh, um, there is nobody equivalent to them in the society and being a friend with them is um, such a special uh, status for for these people and sometimes when they feel that the other person is not acknowledging them or not giving enough importance to them then they shift to the other extreme they just start devaluing them criticizing them and uh, trying to publicly uh, tamper the images of these popular people all these characteristics can be seen in people with narcissistic personality disorder people with npd are not consistent in the belief or feelings they have about themselves sometimes they feel that they have got unlimited abilities and uh, very soon they go to the other end feeling totally deflated worthless and devastated and especially the such uh, change comes when they encounter the normal human limitations which they have when they understand or when they have a experience where they are made to feel made to believe that they have got all the limitations of a normal average human being and uh, also despite the tendency to project themselves as bold beautiful powerful these people require a lot of encouragement or a lot of admiration, a um, lot of uh, appreciation from others to go to actually maintain their self-esteem, the level of high self-esteem they feel about themselves. Or I will put in a different way that their self-esteem is very fragile and it is actually held up only by the admiration and the appreciation and the special um, importance they get from others in a social situation. So how is the diagnostic or diagnosis of uh, narcissistic personal disorder, disorder done? The diagnostic criteria as per the DSM is that there should be at least five or more of the list of characteristics that has been given below which should be present from early adulthood and it should have extended into the adulthood. So some of these diagnostic criteria are one, the grandiose view of one's own importance, the high feeling they usually exhibit about the, their own importance in any situation. Preoccupation with one's own success, beauty, brilliance or any special characteristics they have. Belief that one is that he or she is, the, is very special and can be only understood by people in higher status 
with a higher level of intelligence with higher talents rather than by a average the other diagnostic criteria for npd is one the extreme need for admission it is so extreme so high that uh, they always exhibit they always demand it in any social situation they demand that they are only acknowledged they are only given the importance they are only made to feel special all these things are demanded or exhibited in a very extensive in a intense way then the tendency to exploit others exploit others more by putting pressure on them to do what these people want them to do not by request not by actually motivating them but by showing them or try, by trying to project to them that they are very powerful and the other person has no other go but to go by whatever they demand and the another important diagnostic criteria is the lack of empathy they never understand others they never give any space for others they never even acknowledge others for whatever they have done and the most important criteria is they are highly envious of other people who are successful especially whenever they are in a situation where the other people is given some importance immediately they try to defame those people with by criticizing them for various weaknesses they have got or even giving false information spreading rumors about them they try to create a, a, a status where uh, publicly the other person is actually not may not getting the importance they get and naturally the other important criteria is the arrogant behavior and the attitude towards others the way they actually express the anger the frustration without trying to uh, without trying to value or without trying to give any importance to the feeling of others without even thinking whether to what extent it is going to hurt others so all these diagnostic criteria what we have talked about we can see that in at at some level it is available it is present in all the individuals around us not all the factors associated with diagnostic criteria but at least some of it is present in most of the people around us but we cannot diagnose all the all of them for npd primarily because we need to look at the intensity with which these diagnostic criteria are actually exhibited by the people or how it is actually present and how they actually express it in any social situations so now coming to the etiology or the causes for people developing narcissistic personality disorder most of the causes can be traced out to the childhood experiences where they had a lot of negative experiences they had put to distress the self the system has been damaged which leads to the development of narcissistic personality disorder when uh, as they grow into adults so some of the important factors are one any type of traumatic experience during childhood which has actually damaged the self esteem of the person as a child in a very significant way and uh, experiences of family or parenting conditions parenting situation where the parents are emotionally cold towards the child the child is not treated the way he should be treated the child is not given any importance the child is not valued the child is uh, not getting any positive affectionate experiences and uh, also when along with these experiences when the child feels that only the emphasis is of the parents is on child's achievements either within the family or even in social situations uh, when they feel that the parents are recognizing them or giving attention to them only when they achieve something otherwise they are completely being ignored and the parents also trying to oh, express or trying to propagate the achievements of the child in social situations to make the child feel important in the social situations so this is another important cause then experiences of negligence being ignored by others being, being ignored by the people the people around them especially the family members and also being abandoned 
by the family is also found to be an important cause. And uh, the other cause is experience of excessive criticism by people whom the child considers at the loved ones. The people whom the child, child considers as very important one in their life. When they experience consistent or excessive criticism from these people, the child feels totally uh, ignored, uh, totally devalued because of which they develop this NPD at a later stage. And if they are also not valued for their competencies and their individuality and what they are, they are not given the, they are not found worthy for their own individualistic, unique characteristics. Instead, when they are made to feel that if they are, I mean, if they are achieving what is demanded by the society only, then they will get their necessary attention. This actually makes them work towards only things which can get them attention rather not develop their own skills and this again develops into, uh, I mean, uh, develop, leads to development of uh, personality traits which is part of this narcissistic personality disorder. And the other factor is that if the, the child is living with the parents or guardian who has a mental health condition especially any psychotic disorders or depression where the, there is no attention given on the child or the child is experiencing consistent negative uh, reactions, consistent negative situations uh, in the family and this also can lead to the development of narcissistic personality disorder. The other important causes which leads to the development of narcissistic personality disorder one of the most important one is the person experiencing abuse of any kind as a child it can be sexual it can be emotional it can be physical it can be acute in the sense it can be a single experience with a high intensity or it can be chronic in the sense they had experienced this abuse over a period of time and all these things could have actually damaged the self-esteem one more important factor is um, the experience of discrimination as a child. The discrimination, discrimination can be either based on um, gender, it can be based on class, caste or even sometimes color. When they are experience such discrimination, naturally that self-esteem is damaged and they want to improve it, they want to actually safeguard it so they tend to behave in the way, uh, in the way they they expect or they attract attention from others to, work, to boost their self-esteem. In some cases, excessive pampering and praising by parents has also been found to be a cause, where the parents are continuously praising the child in an exaggerated manner, even for simple achievements, trying to project the achievements of the child in the social situation to get the attention of others and uh, trying to make the child feel important in social situation by uh, expressing or talking about all the achievements of the child. So this type of experience creates a good feeling in the child and which they try to continue into their adolescence and adulthood whereby they which leads to the development of NPD. Then other important factor is that um, when the child feels that he is being valued because it helps the parents to achieve their goals, it helps the parents to develop their own self-esteem, to actually uh, boost their self-esteem and they are not valued for what they are. This is again an important reason. Hereditary factors have been found to be a cause because people, uh, people with uh, narcissistic personality disorder have been found to have parents with a similar disorder or some other personality disorder which is very close to oh, narcissistic personality disorders um, in the cluster B uh, personality group of personality disorder itself. Then in many cases, growing in an individualistic culture, a culture where socialization is not given priority, socialization is not given importance, socialization is just uh, a means of actually getting 
uh, some favors or some uh, work that needs to be done some the needs that needs to be met instead of actually meeting the social needs itself so in such cultures in every relationship they just look for what they can get best out of the relationship rather than forming good relationship itself and to get the best they need to show that they are the best and this attitude and this behaviors related to these attitudes develop over a period of time and um, in many cases during the childhood if the child has felt if the person has felt that every inter they are has felt and tried to build interpersonal relationship only on the basis of how it can help their uh, help to safeguard the self esteem which is already going down or which is weak or which is fragile in such situation if that such um, situations has been happening continuously in the life of the child then automatically these child children can develop npd when they grow into adults talking about the clinical and social manifestation of uh, this uh, narcissistic personality disorder we can actually broadly group them into overt and covert what is openly expressed and what is actually felt by them um the overt narcissistic uh, responses or the narcissistic manifestations is also known as the grandiose narcissism it is mostly characterized by the behaviors and attitudes which involve being very arrogant being pretentious being dominant in situation trying to be exhibitionist trying to be aggress aggressive and also seeking seeking self assurance in all the social the clinical social manifestation of covert narcissism is usually the attitudes and behaviors where they are where you can see significant anxiety prevalent over a period of time being overly sensitive giving high importance to criticism or having significant difficulty in facing even minor criticism feelings of insecurity trying to be defensive in every situation sometimes they can be withdrawn and depressive also so these are some of the covert clinical social manifestations of uh, narcissistic personality disorder when we talk about intervention in any type of personality disorder for that say it is usually done on a long term basis which is cont continuous and consistent over a period of time till whatever best results can be achieved through the interventions we are going to talk when we are looking at the intervention that um, is essential for uh, a person with narcissistic personality disorder again a long term treatment which is focused on first helping them to understand and regulate their own emotions then uh, helping them to identify the behaviors and attitudes that is leading to conflict with other people especially with uh, people uh, in, with whom they are in close interpersonal relationship and then uh, develop some system within themselves which uh, customer customer system within themselves which can help them to prevent situations of conflict also the intervention is focused on changing some of the behaviors uh, which lead to conflicts or which leads to problem in interpersonal relationship and also making them adapt or uh, actually cope up with the reactions their own reactions to criticism and feedback from others which is one of the major source of um, conflicts in interpersonal relationship and this particular intervention program or intervention process is primarily associated with helping them manage the interpersonal relationship because the distress that they usually experience is primarily because of the conflicts in interpersonal relationship rather than by any other experiences they have in various situations the intervention also focus on helping them to develop the skills which can help them to build more intimate and stable relationship 
develop adaptive coping mechanism especially whenever there is some conflicts problems in interpersonal relationship and it also focuses on helping them to explore what is happening tolerate some of the situations develop tolerance to some of the situations or some of the experiences which creates distress for them and also it focuses on trying to help them understand other people perspectives in a way it is not uh, we cannot tell it as uh, developing empathetic understanding but at least trying to make them develop the skill of skill of looking into some of the issues in interpersonal relationship from the other people's perspective so this is one of the this is the major focus of interventions for a person with narcissistic personality disorder some of the systematic uh, psychotherapeutic intervention that is usually done in uh, personality disorders especially narcissistic personality disorder one is psychoanalytic uh, psychotherapy primarily because there's a lot of source of for developing psych, uh, this npd in the childhood experiences of the person uh, which we have already discussed in the previous uh, slides then cognitive behavior therapy especially focused on um, uh, managing their emotions uh, identifying or trying to look uh, things from multiple perspectives so that that is one more thing that is used then schema focused therapy primarily focused on changing the belief system about themselves about being extraordinary because of having some special uh, qualities or special talents which is not available in other human beings and uh, metacognitive interpersonal psychotherapy is also useful in uh, npd primarily because uh, developing a good interpersonal relationship reducing the conflicts in interpersonal relationship decreases the distrust that people experience within themselves and also it uh, helps in limiting the damage they do to other people in interpersonal relationship and um, dialectical behavior therapy focused on frustration tolerance mindfulness also helps in making things better for people with narcissistic personality disorders.